My name is Ulf Bündgen. I'm professor of environmental systems analysis at the Department of Geography here in Cambridge. And uh, together with my group, we are mainly trying to understand past climatic and environmental conditions. What we collected and then assembled for this uh, True to Nature exhibition is a set of 25 wood anatomical thin sections. This material that is shown here at high resolution is giving insights into an otherwise very hidden world. That is a world of wood anatomy. It consists of cells and a wide range of anatomical features. And here for the ex exhibition True to Nature, it was our ambition to emphasize and to unravel this interplay between function and beauty. So everything we see has a meaning, nothing is random. These anatomical structures fulfill a certain purpose. It offers a new world, a cosmos of, of sheer beauty and uh, repeated patterns that somehow remind us of, of, of history, of what has been captured during the time when a plant was growing and, and exposed to its environment. So when we are engaging with trees, living trees, but also relict wood, we are immediately engaging with time. So a tree itself, a perennial plant like a shrub or herb itself, is a time capsule. So it's recording everything that happens during lifetime. And we as scientists are interested in reading in these archives. This is the only archive that allows us to reconstruct temperature and precipitation changes over the past hundreds to thousands of years at annual resolution. So there is no dating uncertainty. If the trees or the tree rings are telling us it was cold in the year 536, it was cold in the year 536. So what a painter may have seen 150 years or 200 years ago would look different today. Also, the sink, the carbon sink, may have changed. What used to be a living tree became dead wood, relic wood. Then there is a decay process. So ultimately, the material will somehow be stored and archived in the soil. So it is a cycle. Although we would consider a tree, a forest, as very static and sustainable, it is still just a snapshot in time. What we want to do, and I think what we are showing will achieve it, is that there is a different world. So just keep in mind, wood anatomical structures are invisible without a microscope. So this is a very, very small moment in time that we are seeing something that we haven't known before. And for the scientists, what we see is a function. So we are analyzing that. It's like a book. This is information. This is the archive. This is highly relevant in understanding how trees and forest ecosystems are functioning and how they are productive or less productive, how they are sustainable or vulnerable. But for a public audience, it should be beauty. This comes from the fact that we are processing, preparing, staining these samples in a way that they are revealing much more than just what we see if we are looking on a piece of wood at the park bench. We are looking into it, we are opening a book and the different colors and structures and repeated patterns I hope people are taking that home and start thinking so we see what we know.